I'm in a great mood because you guys saw last week how I was trying to close this RM and this paddock deal. I closed them both. RM 1103 full rose gold and a paddock 5990 blue dial closed in the books. Today's August 2nd. So it's like the perfect start to a brand new month. And I want to share a little bit about this. About two years ago, I made a comment in a video where I mentioned that our average margins on watches were 500 to a thousand dollars. And for some reason people have like, like held on to that as that's all we make. Now, for the most part, about a thousand to fifteen hundred is the standard margin for a, a quick flip watch. Like we bring something in, we get it out in a day or two. Yes, a thousand, fifteen hundred, boom. It's a small margin and it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're doing two, three, four, five, six of them a day, it adds up and they're quick flips. So yes, that is the standard margin for basic watches. But what I want to share with you on this one is I'm very proud of it. Now I will say, when I tell you the amount that I'm making on this watch. This does not happen every day. This does not happen every week. It does happen often, but it takes a long time to build up to this. These guys have been clients of mine for going on three years. They've spent a lot of money with me. They have bought a lot of watches and this is, this is my boy's biggest purchase to date. But I, I love selling stuff like this because when you do sell it like this, it's not about the sell. Like you can only sell stuff for so much because there's a market and people can do their research. It's about the buy. It's having relationships with clients, having relationships with other dealers to get to the point where you can buy something at a healthy margin. The margin on this one is $40,000. The margin on my paddock, actually I just, I told it straight up in the last video, 10 grand. So between the two watches, one deal, $50,000 profit. That's how we're starting off the week. And I don't know, it's just awesome. Like that's just like a cool way to start the week. But this watch is absolutely amazing. I share the profit again, not to brag. It's just, it's to like to clear up some of the confusion when people think like, how do these guys pay the rent? How do these guys pay for these lifestyles, this operation, all these employees, these salaries, everything only making a thousand dollars per watch. We don't only make a thousand dollars per watch. We make a thousand to $2,000 on a lot of watches, but some of them will make 40,000. Paddock, 10,000. And to be honest, the Paddock, Kurt's my boy. He's bought a lot of watches from me. I hooked him up. Typically our margin on something like that's 5%. So on a $300,000 purchase, I would have made a minimum of 15 grand, something like that. Typically it's like 20 on a piece like that. So anyway, I want to share that. This watch is badass. I told my guy, Neil, that I'm going to hand deliver this. So tomorrow, Brian and I are headed out. We're going to fly out and I'm going to go deliver this one. The Paddock's probably going to be next week because it's coming from Hong Kong. It's got to get shipped into New York and then from New York, it's coming to me. And then for me, I'm going to fly it out to Kurt also. So anyway, start the week off right. And here we go. So we just landed in Dallas so that I could fly in and deliver this watch to my client. Once we landed, I got a text message requesting that we don't film. They've got some stuff going on at the office and they don't want to make a scene or, or have a show going on. So we're going to respect their wishes and I'm not going to film. I'm going to split off. I've got an Uber coming. Brian's going to split off, go visit his mom while we're in town for a few hours. And then we'll meet back up here in a couple hours and we'll fly back to LA tonight. Now, one thing, because I know it's, people talk about it, me wearing my client's watch. You see it all the time, especially whenever I'm flying it across the country here. This watch is safer on my wrist than in my bag. People walk off, they lose stuff, people steal bags, you know, anything can happen. And with this thing on my wrist right here, I know it's safe, I know it's protected. I wear my watches very carefully. So just because I know people are gonna talk about it, I wanted to address that. Anyway, uh, my Uber's about to be here, so I'm gonna split off and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, all right, so uh, I just got done uh, sizing this watch to my guy and he stepped back out to go into a meeting. I know the type of buyer he is and I know his uh, personal style. I've been selling him watches for a few years now, so I just thought I'm gonna bring another special watch with me and see if it's something that he might like in his collection. I didn't know if he even had anything for it. 
He actually came in today wearing this, the solid rose gold root beer. So I know he loves solid rose gold pieces on a bracelet. He just picked up, this is his biggest purchase ever, is the RM1103 in full rose gold. Uh, so that's sold, it's been paid for everything. I came here to deliver it and he just bought a second watch. My boy is stepping his collection up. He just picked up Patek Philippe 5980-1R in uh, full rose gold. And this is the one that I've been offering on my uh, Instagram and stuff for, you know, it's the brand new 2020 old buckle. But anyway, so now my boy's going home with not one watch, but two. Awesome day here. Uh, we're gonna hang out once they get out of, uh, out of their meeting, go grab some lunch. And then I'm going to head back to the airport to get back to Dallas. So it has been a pretty awesome start to August. I mean, it's only the fourth and I've sold, you know, three heavy hitters since the second. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, see you guys in a little bit. Hey, it's a, it's a for sure thing at 50, 58. Yep. All right. I found one dated today for 56. I can, I can pick it up right now. Wow. You found one? Yeah, you can make some money at 58. I can get it for 56. Dated today. I'm sorry, you cut out what? I said you can for sure make some money at 58. I found it at 56. Dated today. Brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're going to charge me 58? Yeah, if, if you can make money at that, if you're sure. Yeah, yeah, let's grab it. Cool. I'll get it. I'll have them. I'll try to have them ship it today for Monday. Thank you, my brother. All right, dude. Thank you. Thank you, All sir. Right. Bye-bye. Hey, Anthony. Yash, what's up, man? Long time. Long time, bro. How you doing? How's everything? Things are good. We're staying busy. Um, okay, dude, that's like, it's dated today. Can you make it a full set? It's dated today. Can you, if I send you a label, can you ship it today for, it, it'd be a Monday delivery or tomorrow. Today will be hard because FedExes are closed. Let me yeah, just talk to my uh, friend and I'll get back to you. Okay, cool. Let me know, but I'll take it. Okay, done. All right, buddy. Bye. Uh, so I was actually over at Peter Marco's a minute ago looking at some RMs to give uh, one of my clients more options and he had a couple that I liked. When I was over there, he asked me if I had any leads on an olive day date. He was a buyer at 58, so he said anything I can find it below that is on me. I put out a call and within a couple minutes somebody hit me up. I found one and boom, made a deal just like that. Easy few grand, so it's been a great day. On top of that, Sold the Meteorite Prez. We brought in a white gold Meteorite uh, GMT, which we also already have pending sell. Uh, the 15202 Jumbo that came in, we've got pending sell for a payment tomorrow. The Snoopy, I'm waiting on a deposit. That's That may be sold. Well, it's sold, but nothing's sold until money changes hands. What else did we sell? We sold the GMT. We sold... We sold the offshore. Which one? The blue the one? Oh yeah, yeah, the, the Navy. The offshore we have I have this offshore left. Um, big deals, so we had a goal to do 10 watches today. It's almost, it's close. If I count the Richard Mills and the paddocks that I have, they are a done deal. I just have to fly to Dallas tomorrow to show him a couple things for him to give me the final okay. So I'm not gonna cover, or not gonna count those as the deal today, because it's gonna be a week before the watches come in anyway and we, I get paid. We actually sold 10 watches today. We did, but I should buy six watches already. Wow! So it's one, two, all of, and plus the Snoopy ten. Nice. And then I've got an RM Black Toro that's selling for about five hundred thousand. My guy really wants the Richard Mill RM fifty five White Bubba, but the Asia edition, which has a blue ring on the inside of it, it's uh, it's this watch right here. Same guy. Oh, and this is dope. I can't wait for this. So here's the watch. This is the. Uh, Asia edition white bubba and you can see it's got that blue that blue cr uh, crown ring and it's got the blue in inner rehot it actually matches his Rolls Royce which is being custom done it's gonna be a matte white interior or matte white exterior with a blue interior and he also just let me know that he just got a Brabus uh, G-Wagon and he wants a watch to match so that's where the uh, gold Toro comes in which is gonna be sick I can't wait also same guy Another sell. He did commit to this one, so I'll count this one. He's paying me tomorrow. The Platinum Prez. I've sent him pictures and videos of it. I locked one in and found it, and he's taking this one also. So August 5th, I did $2 million between three guys in sales, plus all this other stuff. It's it's going to be an awesome today. I just sold 
You just sold that? Nice. 36 millimeter mainstream. It's been a long day. Uh, we had a lot of conversations with people that we couldn't put on camera. We had a client come in to buy this and trade this who also couldn't be on camera. He's bringing me back some watches and actually he's bringing me back a very, very special RM that I wanted to buy and couldn't afford. But anyway, we've had a good day, good week. This is probably all the watch content we're gonna get this week. So guys, again, short video, but I like the style and the consistency of it. And from the comments, you guys seem to like this style of video that we did last week. So if you hadn't seen the live that I shot on Friday, which is today, uh, I mentioned in there that we're gonna start moving on and doing uh, more than one video a week. Um, we've been getting requests for it. We're gonna keep the South Hill series directly straight to the point, watch deals, watch market news, um, customer interactions, you know, kind of uh, advancements in the business, stuff that's going on here, and we're just gonna keep to that. No drama, no bullshit, none of the flex, none of the flashy stuff. We know that you, do, you guys do like some of that. Some of you guys do like that stuff. You like the cars, the bikes, the travel, the dinners, the, the trips and stuff like that. So we're gonna do a second series, and I'm not gonna announce the name of it yet until we launch the first video, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do stuff like maybe go spend the day in Catalina, go spend the day in Malibu, uh, maybe we do a video dedicated to, car, to our cars and taken to the car shows. So if you guys have any ideas on videos, like the fun stuff, the entertaining stuff, the flex, whatever, stuff that has nothing to do with the watch business, just life in general, life in LA, stuff like that, give us ideas. Places, restaurants, activities, things that you guys think would be cool, and we'll go do them. We'll make a video and we'll post them here. And it's probably going to be every Friday. That's all I've got right now. Hope you guys love this video. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you did like. Let us know what you didn't like.